Another favorite living history book, Carry On, Mr. Bowditch by Jean Lee Latham. My boys and I really enjoyed this one. There was laughter throughout it. We learned a lot about sailing and navigation, and it has a really good undercurrent of just valuing school, valuing mathematics, and thinking and working hard. So let's take a look inside. Time for a real page turner. Carry on, Mr. Bowditch by Jean Lee Latham. This book is based on the life of Nathaniel Bowditch, who lived in Massachusetts in 1773 to 1838. It starts off as him being a little boy raised by a sailor who had become a cooper because his ship had crashed. He wanted to go to school. He was really good at mathematics, but he ended up having to stop going to school early because he needed to help his father. Then as a young man, he was indentured to work at the Chandlery. He did that until he was about 21. Then he started sailing on ships. But when he was sailing, he realized that the navigation books that people were using during the time had a lot of errors in them. So he was correcting the errors and doing the math. And it was, you know, a conversation at the time. Is it safe to navigate by the books? Because people knew that they were crashing when they used the books sometimes. But they could be helpful, too, for navigation. He came up with a new way to take a lunar, which is using the moon to help navigate. And, um, and he ended up writing a book with a new way to navigate and a simpler way so that even sailors who were not trained would be able to figure out how to navigate. And he taught the sailors on the ships. We took out the globe so that we could follow his path and look at the places that he went to. And we also printed out a map where they drew his different travels with various colors. and. I had the boys narrate it to me afterward. So this covered geography, it covered history. We love using living books for history. It did cover the sorrows of life. He lost several family members and, you know, ships were crashing. And um, But they did it in a very gentle way. We laughed a lot through this. There's even some sayings in here that we're going to keep repeating here in our own home that we found really funny. And this was recommended through our Truth Quest history that we use. And it ended on a good note. It had a happy ending for sure. Real life is messy and beautiful and better with books. We learned about, about um, living history book. Oh, I didn't turn on my light. 